now it's time for some very hard truths. It's a grey, rainy, bleh day and um, it's not a rant, it's just for some hard truths that I think you need to hear. Truth. What is my point and what I'm trying to get at here? The thing is, this is a difficult one because this is probably going to hit home for some of you, maybe more than others, but that's it's the truth. I'm going to butcher the quote, but it's a Gary Vee quote, and basically says something like, no amount of marketing can improve a <laughs> product. I mean, that's the reality of it. Now, I'm not just talking about marketing, I'm not just talking about... Um, you know, selling stuff, products, home business. This actually, this point grows into so much more in your life. And I've got to say, it's another glorious day in the park. Even when it's raining, it's an absolutely gorgeous place. No amount of marketing can save a kid product. What do we mean by that? Well, Essentially, if you've got something that's you know, below par, not very good, basically, no matter how much you promote it, push it, uh, talk about it, say how amazing it is, fundamentally it's still a product and therefore there's only so far you can get with that product with when it comes to sales. Now that product, remember, also could be you. That could be you, what you're doing, your opinions, anything. No amount of marketing, which is in the case of say yourself, no matter how much fluff and nonsense, you're not going to be um, sort of improve on that. That's the point. So whatever it is, if you're going on a date and you haven't bothered to have a shower or anything like that, no matter how much, no matter sort of charm is going to get away from the fact that you stink. So this kind of, if you extrapolate this out into many, many areas, this really is huge. How strange. Mr. Duck slash Goose Duck, I think. Just uh, cutting in on the action. Didn't have much to say though, unfortunately. So I'm right in the middle of all these chaps, as we can. A bit quiet today, strangely. So yeah, so basically, it's that point of, you know, it's, it's always often said, be your best self. I guess the, yeah, this is really sort of highlighting that fact. So often, and you see it all the time on Facebook, social media, and if you're in the sort of the online marketing space, you see it, you know, all the time because maybe the context you have. But people who are promote, you see, I actually saw it this morning. Um, social media expert, social media ex uh, tr um, expert, coach, uh, branding coach, my sort of huge bugbear. Not like a real branding coach, like uh, the amazing Julia Baxter, but sort of these people who are branding coaches. And it's, that's, you know, there's nothing wrong with being that, but then if you're not displaying the attributes or traits of, of that sort of job or that role, then basically you're trying to market a product, essentially. I'm not saying the person's shit, but what I'm saying is, is the fact that, you know, fundamentally, the product isn't there because they are not the expert and they're trying to present themselves as the expert therefore they're trying to market a shit product if that makes any sort of sense and uh, yeah but that's my point and this also comes back to the whole fundamental thing of being yourself being true to yourself being honest and being real because if you're real honest then you're gonna market yourself as you and by being honest, there's no kind of incongruence between what you're saying, what you're doing, and what you're presenting, to how you're presenting it. And that is hugely important. I'm not talking about appearance or anything like that as such. I mean, obviously, you know, making a bit 
going for a job interview, brush your hair, not quite relevant for me, but you know, you get the idea. It's not about to talk about particularly superficial things, it's how you present yourself to the world in whatever you do. Personality, um, just politeness, being courteous to people, just being a generally nice person. I think that's unfortunately a rare thing these days. And you know, holding the door open for people, saying please, thank you. All these kind of real obvious, which I consider obvious traits, seems to be maybe a little bit lacking these days. But the point is, is that being your best self and therefore marketing yourself um, in a way that is congruent to how you are is gonna work better for you. So if you're a nice person, if you're a generally good person, if you help people and you've got high values and things like that, the quality of you, the product, can be vastly then improved by good marketing. And that's whether, you know, marketing as in how you talk about yourself, how you present yourself. Same as the product. If a product is good and the quality and it's got, you know, value to other people, I think that's the key. If, a, if the product has got value to other people, then you can market it to the end of the world and it's going to be amazing because it's got value. You can want it. Apologies for this wind. Um, people, people want it. It's, it's got value. That's the principle. Whereas if you have got some rubbish thing and it's just pants and you're doing it just for the money and that could be marketing yourself or a product or whatever then any sort of marketing is going to fall short and that's where you get the problem and that's where you get distrust and people you know fail to then follow up and continue to buy from you or deal with you as a person whatever that may be getting um upstage by the geese slash ducks again but when it comes down to that Basically, if you are um, promoting a product or service or something like that, again, apologies for this wind, and it's something that you've never tried or never used or never bought yourself, then how can you properly promote it? And so many people do promote things that they've never used or touched or yeah, had any experience with. And then if it's a great product, bonus. But you're literally, you're just going in blind. You're playing with fire because if it's a shit product, you're marketing it, you're promoting it, your reputation will be, you know, that's it, because you've promoted this thing and people trust you. Therefore, always, you know, never promote something you've never ever used yourself or got results from, good or bad, it doesn't matter. And that is key, absolutely key. And so many people just promote things for for the money and yes obviously we all do stuff for money because we have to eat we have to pay the bills etc but if you if you're fundamentally driven by money and that's all you're doing it for as opposed to actually bringing value then it's possible you might take shortcuts and just promote anything because you might get a quick buck and this happens all the time in every area of life and yeah you might get a short-term gain that's great, but um, it's not a long-term strategy and you'll have to continually get new sales and new customers and new people to actually have a sort of a longer-term um, income, if you want to call it that. I'm just trying to now extrapolate that to other parts of your life. Whereas, so if we go to sort of other, other areas of life, and, you know, if you, I think a classic example would be mobile telephone shops or cellular telephone shops if you're in the US. Um, in the UK, I think traditionally, I'm gonna, I'm, not, I'm gonna sort of use a broad, I'm gonna use a very sort of sweeping statement here and be very generalizing, but traditionally, it seems to be that mobile phone shops are sort of really icky places. You go in, they've got like a million different types of contracts and you sort of, you know, you, you may not know what you want. You want the new iPhone or the new Samsung, whatever. And they're sort of, they're there, they're kind of pushing the sort of the, the probably the most expensive uh, tariff, the one that's got the most extras on that you don't necessarily need. Also then there's all the upsell of insurance and, and accessories and blah, 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 blah. 
So you often you, you come out, you need a phone, you've got your phone, but you you're a bit of a sort of a bit of taste in your mouth because it's not quite the experience you want. And it's likely then you won't go back maybe to that shop again because you didn't like the way they did it. They, they, that sort of sales model, that business model is concentrating on short-term gains, you know, upsell, 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 um, but they tend to lose the longer-term uh, loyalty of, of the customers because they, they don't come back. Whereas if you've got somewhere that's fixated more on the long-term, um, and those of you who know me uh, perhaps would know that I have had associations with this company, but um, somewhere like Apple, for example, um, yes, it's an expensive product, but you go in and there's not such a massive heavy hard sell to upsell everything. Um, it's more what's best for you and you know, take the time to you know, establish what that is. And often, and I know this from experience, there's the, the sort of the down sell almost. You know, if, if, if it's felt that that's, um, that particular product that you've mentioned isn't the right thing for you and maybe a cheaper product would be better, then that's what's recommended. The benefit of this is short term, less, less of a short term gain, but you get long term um, customer loyalty. So then the person will go back and buy another one, another one, another one, plus also the amazing sort of service at the Genius Bar, etc, etc. So they're focusing on long term customer loyalty and long, long term brand awareness and yeah loyalty basically over the short term gain and and this is this is the you know so when it comes to even just people anything if you look at the longer the bigger picture the longer term you know don't uh, i mean here's here's another example would you if you've got you know not if <laughs> here's another example with friends would you generally you wouldn't um, sort of screw over a friend just to sort of get a quick buck. No, you wouldn't because it's a friend because you've got that longer term relationship, you've got that trust, etc. You, you'd rather forego the short term gain because of the, you value the long term friendship. That's exactly the point here. And when it comes to so many things in life, particularly business and online marketing and online business and network marketing, etc., this fact is completely disregarded. It's all about the short-term gain, sign people up, sign people up, get them to buy the bigger package, blah, 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 without thinking of the longer-term relationship and the longer-term idea, because particularly with network marketing, for that residual income to happen, you need the person in your team, say forever, but you know, for a long time. And you know, they, you don't want them, you don't have to keep signing new people up every month just to get the income. You want, obviously you want to sign a new prop to increase the team and increase the income. But the point is, if people only stay for one month and then leave, you've got this constant throughput of people. So you're not, only, you're not really growing your team, you're just maintaining it for a load of hard work and recruiting. Whereas if you concentrate on the longer term relationship, the longer term value, you're still recruiting, but you're growing the team because the people that you recruited, recruited last month and the month before are still there because they trust you. They know you're not trying to screw them over and doing it just for the money. Important. This is a vital point. Remember this. If you take anything away from this video, that's the one. No amount of marketing can improve a product. Hopefully you got some value from this, if you have. It's a sort of a mini ramp, but it's a bit rainy, it's a bit grey, but it's something that I think it's it's a good quote from Gary, and it's one I think that, as I said, it applies to pretty much every aspect of life if you really, really think about it. So yeah, if you've got some value from this, smash that like, smash that subscribe button, I'd really, really appreciate it. Leave a comment of a situation where maybe you have sort of maybe thought about short term over long term and then regretted it. I'd love to hear from, about that. For now, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.